again. Lately, a fresh information regarding James Comey and his relations with Crooked Hillary are circling, and the reason for keeping this a secret for so long is pretty disturbing. Nevertheless, as the sources reveal, Peter Comey, James' brother, played a role at the Washington law firm DLA Piper, the place he works at as senior director of real estate operations for the Americans. DLA Piper is known to be among the 10 highest all-time career Hillary Clinton's campaign donors, at the same time, appears to do the Clinton Foundation's taxes. Maybe this is the reason of James Comey not suggesting incrimination for Hillary Clinton at the time of the email investigation which has pulled on throughout the presidential campaign and the first months of Donald Trump's administration. A lot of people believe Comey was preserving Clinton from the espionage and corruption accusations which would apparently stand on her way, and maybe even put her behind the bars. The Gateway Pundit reveals that Comey worked as general counsel at Lockheed Martin until the age of 2010 after which he decided to withdraw from that position, earning over $6 million. Coincidentally, 2010 was the year Lockheed Martin joined the Clinton Global Initiative and won 17 contracts from the U.S. Department, which was led by then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Furthermore, Comey became a member of British bank HSBC Holdings Board back in 2013, a company which once again partners with Clinton Foundation. As Big League Politics informs, DLA Piper's offices confirmed that the law firm immediately patched callers through to Peter Comey's direct line there. Big League Politics write in their report. Property records show that James Comey owns the mortgage on his brother Peter Combs' house in Virginia. Therefore, James Comey had a direct financial relationship with a DLA Piper executive at the time he was investigating Clinton. These relationships, though egregious, are symptomatic of the brazen culture of crony capitalism that exists in our nation's capital. The public usually is prevented from learning these kinds of things, with the mainstream media blocking information from coming out. Sunlight is the only remedy. When President Donald Trump finally fired James Comey as FBI director, Tucker Carlson said that everyone in Washington knows it was well past due. H.T. The Gateway Pundit after this all, it is as clear as a day that firing Comey is both a clever judgment by President Donald Trump and the start of draining the swamp. We would be happy to hear your thoughts and predictions. Breaking Trump Makes Huge Social Security Announcement This is it. Politicians nowadays don't seem to be very honest. Campaign promises that won them hard-fought elections don't seem to stick around in many cases. That isn't the case with Donald Trump though, including a little promise he made about Social Security and not leaving seniors behind. The Patriot Beacon reports with more. Trump has refused to levy cuts in the Social Security program or Medicare, saving seniors much-needed money. Last month, White House Budget Director Mick Mulvaney placed a report on his desk that looked at possible cuts to be placed in Trump's 2017 budget. I laid to him the options, said Mulvaney. And Trump looked at one and said, what is that? And I said, well, that's a change to part of Social Security. He said, no. No. He said, I told people I wouldn't change that when I ran. And I'm not going to change that take that off the list. Social Security has been under attack by politicians on both sides of the aisle. Seniors have paid into the program during their entire lives and they deserve to enjoy its benefits after a lifetime of working hard. We finally have a president who will take major action to stand up for our seniors. Instead of attacking Social Security, Trump should look at other spending reforms. Fraud in the food stamps program alone is at an all-time high, costing taxpayers over $800 million annually. Getting rid of waste and abuse would go a long way towards making our government more efficient and accountable. No one has done anything remotely beneficial for seniors in at least 16 years. President Trump continues to prove that he can make America great again. What do you think?
Is Trump a great president? Just in. Congress just shut down Obama's activities, he's finished. According to Wall Street Journal, Congress has begun a full investigation to determine an identity of all incorporated into the unmasking of President Donald Trump and his associates. Congress is taking this case very serious, so Obama and his partners like Susan Rice should watch out. There had been already three subpoenas until this point, and it is likely there will be more. Obama, Susan Rice and other their associates were made a special effort to get intel from President Trump and his closest associates using an insidious method of wiretapping them. This informations were then revealed to media illegally by Susan Rice bringing disorder and no confidence in the American system. The only thing liberals desire to see is fall of President Trump, but that scenario is not going to happen. Congress will cooperate with President Trump to annihilate these deceivers. Because people of United States don't merit it. American patriots merit a political framework in which there are no suspicious fact or acts that Obama and his associates were performing over the previous eight years. It will require such a great amount of work to recover our nation and to change things on better, however, President Trump will demonstrate to us the right way. His biggest job is to secure our borders and not to allow bad people to enter our great country. When Congress is done with their examination concerning Obama and his representatives, we will be free from these individuals, so we can continue making America incredible once more. We need somebody like President Trump to help us get these criminals out of our nation. We are so tired of the shadow government attacking Republicans since they have the power. It is a silly, like a child behavior, and we can no more handle it. What's your opinion on this? Let us know the in comments below. Clinton lawyer just dropped massive Comey bombshell that Trump is gonna love. Following the shocking announcement that President Trump is known under investigation for the false accusation that he obstructed justice. Ken Starr, a former special prosecutor who got Bill Clinton impeached, reveals a spectacular statement that blows any obstruction of justice BS out of the water. Ken Starr, the former special prosecutor who got Bill Clinton impeached just revealed a spectacular statement that blows any obstruction of justice BS out of the water. In Starr's interview, he clearly states that the answer is no. There is no clear evidence that President Trump ever did anything close to obstructing justice. Starr goes on to say that Trump only showed an expression of hope towards the former FBI director James Comey and that it, in fact, was not a direct command. There's an expression of hope, so it becomes an interpretation, Starr told CNN earlier today. There you have it folks a former special prosecutor even came out and said our great president is innocence. If you believe we need to stop this witch hunt in its tracks and let the president make America great again share this article to get the word out. Washington tells IRS director to get out, and his response is disgusting. Under Obama, there were 165k motivations to doubt the Internal Revenue Service. That was the quantity of specialists working all day at the administration charge office when our previous president was inaugurated. That number immediately raised not long after Obamacare was organized, as the IRS would deal with all quest for punishments concerning the uninsured. The outcome? Citizens got screwed twice over. Along these lines, it's nothing unexpected that quite a bit of America needed IRS official John Koskinen gone. It wasn't conceivable under Obama yet with President Donald Trump, it wasn't just conceivable, it was likely. A brief time frame back, 15 senators kept in touch with President Trump, requesting he supplant the present IRS director in for a less fanatic leader. Yes, Congress needs him gone and our new president is probably going to concur. There's only one issue, he won't leave. Washington Free Beacon IRS Commissioner John Koskinen says he will finish his term through November despite congressional calls for him to step down immediately. 
House Ways and Means Chairman Kevin Brady, R. Texas, and 14 committee members sent a letter to President Donald Trump on April 5 asking him to replace Koskinen as soon as possible. Trust in the IRS is hitting rock bottom under IRS Commissioner John Koskinen, the members wrote. Not only was key evidence relevant to this committee's investigation destroyed under his watch, but he also misled Congress in the process, intentionally degraded customer service at the agency, and has since lost the trust of the American people. We believe that trust cannot be fully restored under Commissioner Koskinen's leadership, they said. For this reason, we are writing to request the removal of John Koskinen as Commissioner of the IRS and to request that a new leader be put in place as soon as possible. The IRS began targeting conservative and Tea Party groups in 2010, delaying their applications for tax-exempt status before the 2012 presidential election. Koskinen is Obama's substitution for Lois Lerner and it creates the impression that, shy of real expelling the man from Washington, D. C., he is not going anyplace. These profoundly settled in Obama folks are bringing about genuine issues for Trump's organization, this is the reason deplete the swamp. Has turned into a fitting energizing cry. Suffice it to state that this man has similarly the same number of outrages as Hillary Clinton. Furthermore, truly, he's now responsible for an association the American individuals completely doubt. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thank you for reading. H.T. Washington Free Beacon